Felinki Panetsky. Here. Mitchell. Here. Perella. Here. Salzar. Here. Savalio. Present. Is Alderman Born present? I am here at home. All right. Alderperson Born is attending remotely. Would you please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Sheboygan Police Department Honor Guard? Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't wear. All right. Order. All right. Please stay standing as Catherine Henry, Henry recites the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. <laughs> now we'll hear from a poem from Sheboygan's Poet Laureate, Lisa Vijos.
Thank you, Mayor Sorensen. If a city, if a city was a story, it would begin long before streets and structures. It, we, it would begin with land and proximity to water and people who lived there before it was a city. If a city was a poem, it would be spoken in slow meandering lines with a litany of occurrences, triumphs, missteps and resolutions. There would be growth, and it would not always rhyme. If a city was a sentence, it would be declarative. It would have a noun like neighbor or friend and many verbs igniting action, create, flourish, help, dream, propose, remember. The adjectives in the city would write themselves and would be testimony to all the good works of the people who live there. Thriving, generous, just, compassionate, and welcoming. There would be no period at the end of the sentence because the poem is always unfolding toward something better. And everyone who lives in that city adds their voice to the story and lends a hand to its making. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> All right, now we will swear in the mayor elect. And uh, the individual that will be swearing me in today is Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Rebecca Dallet. Thank you, Justice, for coming up to Sheboygan today and joining us on this historic and momentous occasion. My pleasure. All right, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Ryan Sorensen. I, Ryan Sorensen. Having been elected to the office of mayor. Having been elected to the office of mayor. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of said office. Discharge the duties of said office. The, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This has really been an honor to be here and to be back in Sheboygan. Um, I just want to say a, a few words about your new mayor. Um, I met uh, Mr. Mayor at here in Sheboygan at one of the first events that I came to here when I was campaigning for Wisconsin Supreme Court, uh, the first of many. Um, and I was really taken immediately with a few things um, about Ryan. Uh, first, his love of this city. Um, also taken with his ability to really communicate with people and connect with people and his energy. Um, I saw a lot of that right away. Um, I thought to myself, this is someone who can get things done. And as we have seen already, he can get things done. Um, what, I, what I really appreciate, and I know you all do hear about Ryan, is that not only is he someone who has really great ideas and plans for this city and also cares deeply about it and our state and making improvements, He's also someone who is willing and ready to roll up his sleeves and get work done. Um, so I think you are all so lucky to call him your new mayor, and I am looking forward to hearing about all the great things that you will accomplish. Thank, Thank you, you so Justin. much. All right, now we will swear in the aldermen's elect. Will the, count, the elders that have been uh, elected please stand? 
and then raise your right hand and Meredith will take the oath. Everybody ready? I state your name. I, I Marcus Savalli. Having been elected. Having been elected. To the office of alder person. To the office of alder person. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of said office. Discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, everybody. Now, will you please join me in the invocation by Reverend Nikki Beck? May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord. I invite you to pray with me. Holy and gracious God, we stand humbly before you, offering praise and thanksgiving for the joy of this day. Send down upon Mayor Ryan Sorensen, the newly elected alder persons, and all public servants in this city, the wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, charity, and compassion, that they may faithfully serve in their roles to promote and protect the well-being of all people in Sheboygan. Give them eyes to see each person and ears to hear each voice. Bestow a spirit of cooperation and unity among them. Strengthen them in their times of trial. We are bound together with them in this community. Guide us as we seek to serve and love our neighbors. May all that we do bring honor and glory to you. We ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. All right, now we're gonna quick head to the organizational meeting, so bear with us, everybody. This is the real fun part, and why you're all here, right? All right, first we'll be adopting the rules of the Common Council. Is there a motion to adopt the rules? So moved. Second. There's been a motion by Alderperson Svalio and a second by Alderperson Salazar. Any discussion on the rules? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the council rules, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. The rules are adopted. All right, next we'll move on to the election of the president and vice president of the common council. Alderperson Svalio. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor voting to be done by closed ballot, and if two or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. All right, nominations are open. Is there any nomination? Yeah. Alder person, oh, is there a second to opening up the nominations? Second. Second by Alder person Ackley. Alder person Decker? I nominate Barb Feldy for president. Dean, or Alderperson Decker has nominated Alderperson Feldy. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderperson Perella. Alderperson Feldy, do you accept? I accept. Great. Are there any other, mo any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderperson Spalio? I make a motion to close the nominations. Is there a second? Second. There's been a second by Alderperson Ackley. All right, is there a motion to submit a unanimous ballot for Barb Feldy as the council president? So moved. Second. There's been a motion and second. All in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone aye. Opposed? All right, congratulations, <laughs> President Feldy. All right, move on to uh, Vice President of the Common Council, Alderperson Svalio. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot, and if two or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes to be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. A second by Alderperson Ackley. Are there any nominations? Mayor, Alderman Boren. Alder Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I would like to nominate 
uh, Alder Person Roberta Felicki Paneski of District 2 for Vice President of the Council. Alder Person Boren has nominated Roberta Felicki Paneski. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alder Person Perella. Roberta, do you accept the nomination? I do. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? I move to uh, name Dean Decker uh, to the Vice President position. Second. Dean Decker has been nominated and has been seconded by Alder Person Feldy. Dean, do you accept the nomination? Yes. All right. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alder Person Savalio? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the nominations. Is there a second? Second. There's been a second. All right. So this we have a contested race for vice president. So Alder, uh, the city clerk, Meredith DeBruin, will um, be handing out the ballots. And uh, Alder Person Boren is attending virtually, so he will be voting via email. Please stand by. Paul, you can play a little music. Right. The votes have been counted, and congratulations, Alderperson Roberta Flicky Paneski. <laughs> All right, we'll moving move right along to election of representative to the City Plan Commission and the representatives to the Capital Improvement Commission. Alderperson Savalio. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor. Voting should be done by open ballot. And if two or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes to be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. 
Is there a second? Second. Second by Ackley. We're now open for nominations. Are there any nominations to the City Plan Commission? Alder Decker? I nominate Alder Person Jim Bourne. Second. There's been a motion and a second. Alder Person Bourne, do you accept the nomination? Uh, no, I don't. All right. Sorry. Alder Person Bourne has declined the nomination. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Mr. May, I make a motion for, um, uh, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting your last name right now. I'm so sorry. For Trey to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, been a, there's been a motion to nominate Alder Person Mitchell as a uh, representative to the Plan Commission. Second. There's been a second by Decker. Alder Person Mitchell, do you accept? <laughs> All right. Alder Person Mitchell has accepted the Plan Commission position. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alder Persons of Alio? Make a motion to close the nominations. There's been a motion to close. Is there a second? Second. A second by Decker. Uh, is there a motion to cast a unanimous ballot for Alder Person Trey Mitchell to be the Alder Person representative to the City Plan Commission? So moved. Second. Motion by Savalio, second by Ackley. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Congratulations, Alder Person Mitchell. All right. Alder Person Savalio, capital improvements. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot. And if three or more candidates are, and if three or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes to be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until two candidates receive a majority. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ackley. We're now open for nominations. Are there any nominations? Are there any nominations? Are there any nominations? Mr. May, I nominate uh, Jim Bourne. To Alder Person Savalio has nominated Alder Person Bourne. Second. second. Second by Decker. Alder Person Bourne, do you accept? No. Alder Person Bourne has declined the nomination. Are there any other nominations? Alder Mr. May, I nominate Trey Mitchell. Alder Person Trey Mitchell. Alder Person Savalio has Alder nominated Alder Person Mitchell. Alder Person Mitchell, do you accept? I do. We need All a right. second. Second. Second by Ackley. Right. We need one more spot. Are there any other nominations? Uh, point of order, Mr. Mayor. I believe uh, Trey Mitchell uh, will already be on the uh, on the uh, Capital Improvements Commission if he's Chairman of Finance. Uh, not, um, committee assignments have been, not been voted on yet, so that point is not, out of, is not in order. Is there another uh, nomination for Capital Improvements? Mr. Mayor, I nominate uh, uh, Alderperson Grazia. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ackley. Alderperson Perella, do you accept? Sure. Alder Person Perella accepts. All right. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, is there a motion to cast a unanimous ballot for Alder Persons Mitchell and Perella to the Capital Improvements Commission? So moved. Second. Motion by Ackley, second by Savalio. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. <clears throat> All right. Congratulations. All right, now we're gonna get a little wonky here. The council will recess and um, um, go into the committee of the whole. So Alderperson Feldy, you will be chairing the committee of the whole. So I do the whole thing. Okay. 
correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. All right. Your first job. I guess. I move the nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Do I, okay, do I have a motion? Okay. Okay, moved by Alderperson Savaglio and seconded by Alderperson Ackley. <laughs> the most, if applicable, applicable, another motion by Alder to nominate a chair. The motion is seconded. Motion by Alder to close nominations. We should keep no? the nomination. Oh, we got to do the. Yeah. Oh, sorry yeah. about that. That's okay. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we have a motion and a second. Are there any nominations? Uh, I'd like to nominate Dean Decker for Committee of the Whole Chairperson. Who is the second, please? Trey. Trey Mitchell. Okay. Um, we have a motion and a second. Um, are there any other nominations? Thank you, Roberta. Are there any other nominations? One more time. Is there any other nominations? Okay, if only one candidate, I move that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for Alderperson Decker as committee of the whole chair. So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Congratulations, Dean Decker. Thank you for that, Barb. All right. Now I will hear a report from the council president on the election of the committee of the whole chair. President Feldy, who has been elected committee of the whole chair? Pardon? <laughs> who has been elected committee of the whole chair? Say it again. <laughs> Who's been elected committee of the whole chair? Dean Decker. All right. Congratulations, all the first <laughs> We'll now go to the president of the council's message. President Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to thank all the alders for their support and for putting your trust in my ability to be the, in a leadership, leadership position. I know I have some big shoes to fill following the past two council presidents, uh, Ryan and Todd, but I'm I am not worried as I know that there will be, that they will help me whenever I have questions or doubts or concerns. We know it is going to be a challenging year ahead, but I also know we will get through it because of all the caring and supportive team of alders and the great staff we'll be working with. I'm looking forward to working with all of you and serving as the council president. Thank you for your trust. All right, we'll now go to the committee, the whole chairperson's message. Older person Decker. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I would like to thank all my fellow alders for having the confidence to me to lead in this capacity. I look forward to working with all of you, along with our new mayor, a city administrator, and all of our department heads as we face the many challenges ahead going forward. 
wasn't really prepared for a whole lot, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alder Person Decker. Thank you. The city Clerk, is there anyone for a public forum? There's no one this evening. All right, now we'll go to the mayor's message. Council President Feldy, Council President Flicky Paneski, members of the Common Council, Administrator Wolf, City Clerk De Bruin, Attorney Adams, Directors of City Departments, City Staff, my family and friends, and most importantly, fellow Sheboyganites. Tonight is an extraordinary night and the beginning of a new era for the city of Sheboygan. Just moments ago, I took an oath to lead our great city for these next four years. I promise to all of you that I will work hard every single day to make our community a more welcoming and prosperous city for everybody. As many of you already know, I was born and raised right here in this great city. I am truly a product of Sheboygan, and I've received an excellent education in our local schools. I'm a graduate of South High, and received my bachelor's degree from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, where I had the privilege of serving as the student body president. After graduation, I came back home because this city has given so much to me. So I ran for city council because I wanted to offer a new voice and a fresh, fresh perspective in local government. As an older person, I learned firsthand just how important constituent work is and how we need to work together to solve our many problems. I had the tremendous opportunity to serve as the chairman of the Public Safety Licensing and Hearings Committee, the chairman of the Transit Commission, vice chair of Public Works, as well as the committee of the whole chairman. This past term, I was elected to serve by my peers to serve as the city council president, and we worked together to oversee a $118 million city budget that is responsible for providing essential services such as police and fire, garbage collection, road maintenance, parks, library services to almost all our 49,000 city residents. In listening to the residents of the city these past few years, it became very clear to me that Sheboygan has become a tale of two cities. Over the last decade, our community has had over $1 billion of investment in our community, and this is wonderful news. However, at the same time, students on free and reduced lunch in the Sheboygan Area School District has gone up by double digits, individuals and families cannot find affordable places to live in our cities, and our infrastructure has received low marks from a variety of rating, rating agencies, and it is certainly something our residents talk firsthand about. It is this reality of our city government that we need to tackle these compelling issues that, we need to, that made me realize that I needed to make a difference. These struggles became even more challenging for families that have been impacted by this pandemic, and that is why I stepped up and ran for mayor. As your mayor, I promise that I'll fight for you every single day to fight our, for real results for these real problems impacting our community. It is critical that we develop a more sustainable economy which will allow us to better address some of our serious challenges, such as our crumble, crumbling roads, tackling affordable housing, and the complex challenges that COVID-19 has had on the health and welfare of the citizens in our local businesses. As mayor, I will develop and work alongside our public works department to develop strategic plans of how we can actually develop and fix our roads. We have great workers in the public works department, but we need to make sure that they have the tools necessary to get the job done and fix our roads. As your mayor, I will work alongside housing advocates and developers to ensure that we have affordable housing that will benefit our community. We need to focus on building more affordable housing at all aspects that reflects the needs of our community. As your mayor, I will also be a leader in ensuring that we have a solid COVID recovery plan and will work alongside our local, county, state, and federal leaders to make sure that families and local businesses, healthcare organizations, and our schools receive the, su the support that they need so we can fully recover from this pandemic. As mayor, I will listen to all the residents and explore new ways of how we can work together to make our city a more welcoming place for everybody. I've already begun to develop a more open and transparent process to appoint citizens to many boards and commissions and task forces that advise our, our city on a variety of needs. These residents will reflect the true rich diversity of our community. In conclusion, I'm looking forward to working with all the council members, Administrator Wolf, all the department heads, city staff, and all the residents across our community so that we can continue to provide high quality services to all our residents. And as mayor, I promise to all of you that'll work hard every single day 
to bring my uniqueness, charisma, nerve, and talent to this community in this office. Thank you so much. Now let's get to work. Thank you and God bless the city of Sheboygan. Thank you. All right, just a few more things on the agenda, folks. All right, resolution number 1-21-22 by the city administrator, Todd Wolf, submitting the capital improvements program request for the years 2022, 2026, that will be referred to the Capital Improvements Commission. Resolution number 1-2122 by Alderperson Boren, requesting that the mayor reactivate various special committees for the 2021-2022 city council year. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adopt the resolution. Second. Motion by Boren, second by Savalio. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone? Aye. Chair votes aye. All right, mayor's appointments. And those will lay over. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to Alderperson adjourn. Feldy? Alderperson Feldy, motion to adjourn. Second. All right, motion by Barb, second by Bert. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Oh, now you give this